what's up guys just a quick announcement before starting the actual video uh, i wanted to tell you guys that i actually recorded another video before this one that's about to come up uh, but the problem with that video was that i basically forgot to record my voice that's right so kind of did a big oopsie so i'm just gonna uh, basically do, do basically do a little recap of what happened during that video boys uh i did the draft pick as you can probably see in the background it's gonna be blurred out a little bit i did the draft lottery and stuff like that i went into free agency got a couple of players nothing too exciting but a couple of players that could help out my team eventually i also got myself uh some my hands on i guess a, a good coach right and stuff like that so some better coaches for goalie wise and stuff and afterwards we went ahead and uh, started off half of the season so i simulated in the, uh, the entire half of the season basically that's all i did and um, it turned out to be pretty good for us uh, pretty good season overall we started pretty uh great we actually started great and started to struggle afterwards a little bit but um, that's basically it boys you didn't miss too much just missed a uh, half of the season but i guarantee you this other half is a lot better than this uh first half so you're not gonna miss much i just hope you all enjoy the video and i'll see you guys for the next one Hello everybody, my name is Kitam and welcome back for another video of NHL 21 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and did the free agency, the draft uh, lottery, the very first one for us. And of course, we simulated almost half, well, pretty much half of the season we simulated as well. Uh, now we're getting ready to do the second half, of course, as long uh, as well as maybe look into the trade deadline, maybe see... If we don't, uh, we don't want to trade or uh, any players or upgrade our team. Uh, when once that is the case, we'll see, though, boys. Uh, we already did the tweaks in the last video. At the end of it, uh, I'm gonna see if we can't uh, just continue to have a good time a little bit at least. Uh, we started off real strong in the first ten games, but then afterwards so it started to fall apart a little bit. So hopefully we can bounce back up right here and actually have a, a good season. Make it to the playoffs once again. Because once in the playoffs, we got good opportunities to really make it far. So let's just hope that we can just get it in there. Alright, so 2, 4 right there. Hold on. Uh, 6, 8, and 10. So all the way up to the Dallas Stars games after the All-Star break. Which the All-Stars itself are not even a thing in this game. Still waiting for the All-Stars to come back into an NHL game at some point. We're not going to talk about that uh, right now. Uh, we start off the first uh, the simulation with two uh, wins in a row, which is good. A loss against Buffalo, but another win. There we go. Finally, a win against New Jersey as well. We are kind of struggling. We've been struggling the entire year against New Jersey. At least we got a win now, so that's perfect. 7-1 to one win against Arizona, we get a loss, regulation loss against ben, uh, the Panthers. We can't yet even get a, uh, a single goal out of that. Uh, there's another regulation loss against Vancouver, but we get a win against uh, Senators. There we go. Just hoping that we get a really good simulation and uh, really try and bounce back up uh, big time, right? To get closer to the, the first 10 games uh, as, uh, as it were. So there we go. So we're going to finish off with a loss right there against the Calgary Flames. But at least I think we had a pretty decent record right there. Uh, something at least uh, like respectful, right? So that's all I can ask for right now. So let's uh, jump back down. Go back to the menu. See our last 10 games. 6 and 4. All right. So we did not. Uh, we lost all, uh, all of their games that we lost. We lost them in regulation. So we didn't get a point. Uh, any bonus points, which is not that good. But. We're still uh, bill, uh, on par with uh, the Capitals right here and on par with the Islanders. So we're upwards towards the, compared to the Capitals. So at least as long as we stay up there in the third place, we should be all right. I'm kind of, uh, I'm scared of the wildcard division, uh, the wildcard spots. So I don't want to, I don't want to have to fight for it, right? I, I really don't want to have to fight for it uh, because this is going to be too hard for us probably. So. There we go. So at least uh, there's that. Let's take a look really quick. Did we upgrade ourselves uh, team-wise? We'll see uh, real quick if, uh, if that was the case or not. So 
Uh, goals for per game. We're not scoring as many goals. Or we're starting to fall apart for uh, for goals for uh, goals for uh, goals against. Uh, where are we? Uh, we're trending. I think we're trending down for goals against. So we're giving less goals now. Good. Power play is definitely trending up. So we got to stay uh, keep it as it is. And penalty kills trending up as well. Yeah, it, it definitely is. So uh, we just got to keep playing. Hope that we just keep getting good simulations uh, more than anything else. Uh, best player so far, still pattern 44 points, 43 points for Kako. Now here's the thing, the problem is, it seems like we don't have an actual player in our team that is uh, uh, better than point per game, you know. Uh, that's actually really playing like an all-star player. Uh, even Panarin and 93 overall is not doing the trick. Last year, he what? He did the thing, right? He did 90 points. This year, though, is not producing as much. Is it? Uh, no, he's got five years of contract. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he's not producing as much. It's kind of scary. I kind of, I need him to produce, right? I need him to help out. Uh, Kako, which he grew up already. He's a 90, 86 overall now, Kako. So that's really good for him. Uh, Lafreniere, uh, he's not doing too bad, but not too good either. I feel like he could do so much better. Lafreniere is playing like a boss right now. I don't like it, boys. Now, I could play Taravainen instead. I feel like I could, I should probably do that at this point. Because it seems like he's just, he's not as good as I would want him to, uh, to be, Lafreniere, that is. I mean, he's got uh, 89 offensive awareness. Compared to a 91, you know, let's try out uh, this like this. Tr let's try it out like that. I'm going to put Teravine in the second uh, uh, second uh, uh, line. And we're going to put Lafrenia in the third line, boys. See if uh, if that's going to do anything. Uh, you never know, right? It might change something. It might help out. But right now, I'm just, I'm really just trying to help out my team as much as possible right here. So I don't, I don't want to change any strategies. We're just going to keep moving here. After the last 10 games of simulation, there is going to be the trade deadline. So we're going to be able to look into that. So 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, I believe. So all the way up to the St. Joe de Sharks game. We're going to be ready for the trade deadline here. We're coming up towards it. The Edmonton Oilers as coach got fired. Uh, we started with a regulation loss, a win, and another regulation loss. Uh, we can, can we get a couple of wins here, please? Uh, oh my god, another regulation loss, boys, the hell? Oh my god, we keep losing too. Now it's another one. It's going to be another one of this uh, simulation where we're going to lose games. Damn it, man. Not, not at the trade deadline too. That's not going to help out the, the, the value for my players, man. Losing like that. There we go. There's two wins right there. I want to see wins, boys. If you're not going to win, at least get some points, extra points. There we go. If you're not going to win, get some extra points via shootouts and overtimes. I do not want to see regulation losses. God damn. What's wrong with my team, boys? All right. There's another garbage simulation right there. So three, five, and two. Oh, my God. I can't. I don't know. I don't know what to do. And now we're in the wild card spot. That is not good. Capitals like uh, started to win games. And, uh, yeah. Now they are... Uh, better than us now so that is not good what about this right here is it working out it's not it doesn't seem like it's working out nope it's not working out so I, i'm just gonna put it back like it was i'm gonna put it back like it was boys i don't have a choice here we're gonna take a look since we are at the trade deadline first off team wise are we still trending up uh for uh the power play and penalty kill that's all i need to worry about uh goals four per game uh, we are the best goal scoring team and goals against. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're go uh, doing pretty good for goals against. We're starting, we're, uh, we're doing, uh, going on the right direction. Power play going down a little bit. Okay. Penalty kill trending up big time. Now it's 75%. So penalty kill is really going up more and more, boys. Power play, I'm not going to change anything. Uh, it's, it is what it is. We're just going to have to keep it uh, as it is right now. Uh, Panarin seems like uh, the good part right here. You know what? I might be able to change as well, which might be able to help out my team quite a lot, is to uh, tell them to shoot a little bit more the puck, maybe. 
Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe overload. They're overload right now, but they're not like shooting the puck a lot. So I'm going to tell them to, to shoot the puck a lot more. And maybe that's going to help them out with the whole thing. So maybe, uh, maybe that's going to make a difference. You never know, boys. There we go. Just tell them to shoot the puck. And uh, probably they're going to produce a little bit more. You never know. Maybe that uh, has something to do with it. It puts you like that. All right, good. Okay, so... Let's go take a look at our proposed trade, uh, trade values for our, our players first off. Who can we possibly trade uh, this year? Still got these three, none of them, I'm not gonna trade anybody, uh, any of them. Uh, Boudin, as you can see, he went from a 50 to a 63 overall player already. So he's growing quite nicely. He's growing very fast, boys. He's gonna be able to play for us next year uh, in the AHL at least. So that's really good. And, uh, okay, so anybody else that would be good to trade right here. These guys are growing, so I'm not trading them. Uh, I could trade uh, Barry, uh, Tristan Barry, but since uh, Tyson Barry, but since I did uh, just uh, literally uh, sign him, I cannot trade him. That's another thing I'm going to limit myself to. I can't trade for a player that I literally, literally just signed the other season. All right, so he's got to play at least a, a complete season with me before I trade him. So Tyson Berry, I got to keep him. But Truba, I can uh, get rid of him probably. Zibanejad, uh, there's some good value in there. There's some good players I can maybe trade away and stuff. Uh, yeah, sure. Sure, boys, there is some good value in there. Why not? Okay, good. Uh, so we can take a look really quick. Uh, what do we need the most? So it seems to be uh, center position. It seems to be quite all right. Uh, center position. We're kind of uh, of good. Anybody that I would absolutely want to trade. I don't think so. I feel like uh, we're good on that part, right? We might need, uh, you know what? We might need something different though. Uh, Zibanejad, I'm kind of tempted to just trade him. Because we've got Panarin, who is already a, a sniper on the first line. And uh, we already have a playmaker. So we, we have two snipers and I don't have space for him on the first line itself. So I might be tempted to just get rid of him, boys. And get rid of him, but for a playmaker instead. Put a playmaker in the first line, you know what I mean? So a better player, playmaker. Let's try and find out if there's uh, if there isn't... A playmaker available right now there might be right so let's play your search I know you guys probably gonna disagree you don't probably won't want me to trade with Benage out of the way but the way I'm seeing it is uh, let's put a first liner right there the way I'm seeing it is I need somebody that can be a playmaker or a power forward any of these two but a center that can play on the first line because it's going to be a lot better for the production of Kako and uh, what's his face, um, Panarin, right? It's going to be a lot better for these guys. So I need someone like that uh, to be help, uh, able to help us out. So let's see. Uh, I know where the trade value is at for Zibanejad, boys. So Malkin, straight up, we could get Malkin for Zibanejad, boys. I mean, already a lot better, 90 overall. Elite player, playmaker, exactly what we would need right there for the type of team we have. And uh, yeah, he would play great for us. I think Malkin would be a great addition, boys. Now we got to keep looking. Maybe there's better additions or better players that we can get. Maybe we can get a first round. Uh, no, that's a center. No, I think we got our player, boys, right here. I think Malkin is the perfect guy. So we're going to get Malkin in, uh, for Zbinejad right there. Right there, uh, just like that, boys. So, uh, just to make sure, Zibanejad, as he played for us, how many years has he played for us? He's played this amount of years. He's been a great player for the New York Rangers, boys. But I think it's our time. It's time for us to depart uh, from him. We, uh, he's a sniper, and we don't need a sniper in the in the center position right now. What we need is a playmaker, so we can get uh, rid of him. Straight up uh, for Malkin. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything out of him. Uh, out of them. So straight up. Malkin for Zibanejad, boys. They both have one uh, year left only. Wait, hold on. Oh, he's one. he's got one year of contract. There we go. See what I'm talking about? So Zibanejad's got one year of contract. Uh, we can trade him away. No problem. 
for a Malkin that has one year of contract as well. But uh, I mean, it's a win-win for me. It's a, it's just a better player overall. So trade accepted straight up. Zibanejad for Malkin, blockbuster trade right there, boys. And Malkin's coming up to the uh, Rangers right there. He's gonna be playing with Capo, Kako and Panarin. That's a huge upgrade for us. A huge upgrade. Uh, straight up, I'm gonna already uh, move him up right there. I'm gonna play, uh, put him up like that, and you're gonna see in a minute, boys. That what that's gonna do for the third li first line. Plus three, boys, for the first line. Now uh, it's it was a plus three with Zabinajal as well, but that's just because they were playing really great. They had good good chemistry, but they're gonna just play a lot better now that it's two playmakers and a sniper playing together. It's just gonna be formidable, boys. It's just gonna be fantastic. So I just I just want that. That's all I want right now. So playmaker, we got that guy. We got uh, the guy we needed. Uh, now, what type of other upgrade do we want? All right. We did the center. So I can't go for a center again. Uh, now, let's see. Anything else that uh, we got of good value right here? Left wing. Not really. Left wing, we don't have any good values. I'm not trading away Lafreniere. I'm not trading away Panarin. Terravine and Fosberg don't have any real v value, so I can't really trade them for anybody uh, at all. I really can't trade them for uh, for uh, them away for anybody really. So I'm gonna have to keep them. Uh, I I do have to trade people. I can trade people that have one year deal. Uh, basically, that's the guys I can trade, boys. Right winger. Uh, Kapokako's got one year Dale left. Uh, Kratsov. Uh, Kratsov's got a good, uh, a good value right there. So I, maybe Fosbury, I can't trade him. But let's find out if I can't get anybody for Kratsov right there, boys. So uh, he's got that amount of value. Let's find out. Uh, what is he actually? I do want to. Um, I do want to make sure that I do get somebody that uh, fits the scheme of my team. All right. So Kratsov's a power forward, boys. Now we can definitely replace him. So we already have on that line two playmakers. Uh, we got a sniper potentially we can bring him down to the third line if we can pick up uh, a first liner and stuff like that. So we got uh, that as a potential. Now it's either we put uh, a power forward or a sniper uh, or a playmaker or a sniper. That's what we want. So either a playmaker or a sniper uh, we're picking up. It depends on uh, whether it's a first liner if he's a first liner, he's gonna be. A, uh, we need a playmaker for that. If he's uh, a second or a third liner, it's a sniper that we're gonna need, boys. I'm gonna be looking for the first liners first, uh, we, uh, which means that we gotta look for a right winger, a potential right winger. And this spot could be that. I, it needs to be a little bit lower. This right there, like that. Uh, Macheso is more left winger. I want somebody that can be guaranteed right winger right now. So there we go, Voracek right there. Now Voracek is a bit of an upgrade, but not too much. Uh, he's set up to play on the first line, but for me, he would play more as the third line right there. So he's a playmaker. That doesn't really work for me uh, right there. I need somebody that's bit better than that. So uh, sure, he would be what better than he wouldn't even be better than uh kako i would play kako instead of him so i need i don't have anybody for first lines so we're gonna look right now for second lines boys let's uh find out actually if it's second line now it's a sniper that i need so uh let's find out real quick there we go i'm gonna need a sniper now that's what we're gonna go after all right we got bjorkstrand and we've got kasha as an option boys i don't know which one would be better uh, let me see the offensive awareness really quick. I think Kasha would be better than Bjorkstrand. Uh, we can try and go for him, uh, possibly. Get an 85 overall. He would play on the second line, uh, possibly. Be a sniper, boys. Uh, so let's try that out. Let's try that out really quick. So maybe that's the guy we could uh, potentially get. Let's just find out really quick if that's going to uh, fit our, uh, our role, though. So... For Kratsov, it's an upgrade. It's a clear upgrade for right now, at least. Uh, 85, and he'd still grow maybe one or two more years uh, if he gets a, a good year, uh, Kasha, that is. So you never know. Uh, Kratsov has one year left, so let's find out. Uh, straight up, 
not enough all right so i would have to give them something uh, i would have to give them something extra uh any rookie uh, players that i'm not gonna use probably these two player bonus and verling and that's not even enough so not even these guys are potentially enough to to make that uh, thing happen so rampe as well no okay so he's not they're not interested with a bunch of prospect i'm not gonna give away eklund uh maybe i could give away i don't know anybody really a anybody like low top six in the top nine not not at all it's not working okay i'm gonna i'm gonna be willing to give them like a draft pick maybe but uh for a draft pick i'm not gonna go higher than uh third round that's for sure so uh i'm gonna try fourth round see if it works it doesn't work let's try third round if your third round doesn't work uh then we can forget about kasha all right there we go so third round pick and craps off for uh kasha boys so there he is he's coming up to uh, our team as well uh another clear upgrade there we go in the 85s now let's get him up in there uh we're gonna play him big time he's definitely gonna play on um, uh, 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 way uh, on par with uh Bushnevich, better than Bushnevich. And there it is, just like that. You got it right there, boys. This is what I'm talking to you. Two playmakers and the sniper is the combo that I want. It's, it's, the, it's the combo that I'm taking all day, every day. So these guys are going to be playing great together now. It's gonna, it should be working quite nicely. Let me find out real quick, though. 80, uh, 84, 87. You know what? I kind of want to get Ryan Strom in there. There we go. Ryan's almost a, a, a plus five right there. So I'm going to put Ryan Strom in there. And Joins is going to be playing on the fourth line now. Yeah, I'm demoting him to the fourth line, boys. What are you going to do with it? So there we go. We got two playmakers and the sniper right here. Not really working out, but it's going to have to do. Uh, let's find out now. Uh, other thing is demon. Do we have any demons that we can trade away with good value? We've got Adam Fox. I'm not trading him. And D'Angelo, I'm not trading him either. It seems like this is it. So we don't have any demon uh, that we can trade away goaltender wise uh we got georgia if we could possibly trade away boys and maybe get a better goaltender in there um maybe we can try that we can see if there's a better goaltender than georgia he's not been good for us at all uh he's been better this year though but uh we can always try and uh, and see if there's another option for uh, goaltender wise so let's find out real quick uh player role i'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say any play, any player role, any uh, really it doesn't matter to me. I just want the good value right there. So let's find out anybody that's in that very low value right there, uh, Georgia of level of value right there. Okay, so that uh, could be that. Uh, like a long vis could do the trick. You're you're gonna hear my dog right here doing his thing. Uh, yeah, I guess long vis is playing good. Long vis could be a good option, boys. We've got Elvis. Brendan Oldby, I don't think they're going to be enough. Uh, Jonathan Quick, not good. He's not playing good, so I'm not going to take someone that's not playing good right now. Unless he's got good vision or, if, or anything. No, I don't think so. So, yeah, I wouldn't take a, a Jonathan Quick. I'm going to keep George F, boys. There's no really op real option right there. I'm going to try it forwards again. And this time around, I try and trade for a playmaker possibly hold on just a playmaker forward and we're gonna see if there's an, uh, an actual left winger that we could possibly take instead of Fosberg you never know right could find out a, a good left winger right there so let me find out real quick all right so I couldn't find anything for left wing either so looks like the two trades we're gonna have done uh for this video are only these ones uh which is two big trades uh, one really huge one, which is Malkin for uh, Zibinijad. That was a really huge trade. I'm definitely happy with what I got. I think Malkin's going to be fantastic for us. And the other one is obviously a small upgrade from uh, Kratsov to Kasha Boys. A power forward from a, a, a sniper. So we got a sniper instead. And he's working for the second line. Uh, just uh, fantastic, right? So second liner and stuff like that. It's just perfect for us all across uh, the board right here. Teravainen, 
I know it's set up to like supposedly play as a f as a, a, that type of guy, right? Uh, he's supposedly better than Lafrenia, so we can we can try that out. I just feel like these guys are not really good together. We'll s we'll see if these guys can play good together or not. Fosberg, I can't m I can't modify that first fourth line, so we're gonna have to keep it like that. We could always try and. Modify this as well, put back Lafrenia in the fourth line. But I want my three third lines to play as maximum as possible. So Lafrenia is going to be uh, playing in there. Let's find out if that uh, those new lines are going to work or not, boys. If they don't work, well, I don't know what to do, right? Because I did exactly what I um, what I thought was the best option right there. So let's see if cross uh, if the addition of Malkin and uh, in Kasha is going to help out our team or not. Uh, so let's continue simulate two all the way up to the Central Day Sharks game. The other one, we're gonna get past the trade deadline right here. So there's a win against uh, the the Central Day Sharks. We're gonna do buyer and we're gonna continue the simming. We're not gonna enter in uh, another win against the St. Louis Blues. There we go, boys. I'm actually uh, gonna quit the simulation really quick because I do want to see uh, if there's any huge trades apart aside from me. Uh, that happened right there during this uh, trade deadline. So I, I do want to see those trades. Uh, we're starting enough. Ever since we got Malkin and Kasha, though, four wins in a row, boys. And we're scoring like six games per minimum per uh, per game. So six uh, six goals per game, boys. That is fantastic. I'm telling you, that it makes all the difference. You get a, a, the good chemistry, the good types of players in there. And everything starts to work. So Vegas Golden Knights did a trade away. P p Bunch of players. Charlie Coyle going to uh, Cur uh, Cur uh, Carolina. Ryan Suzuki to Boston. Uh, we don't have anybody else. Uh, Elvis going to Buffalo. Uh, Yalmerson to Washington. Pajot is going back to uh, Ottawa. All right. Anybody else? Not really. I don't find uh, Krejci to Montreal for a first round pick. Okay. Montreal wasted the first round pick for David Krejci. Okay, interesting. Uh, why not? Tarmish Ertl and Vlasic both going to Colorado. Zibinejad, of course, uh, got a big got traded away. So Zibinejad literally was uh, a movement big, big boys. All right, so uh, he's going to Vegas. He's going to be playing with Vegas, I guess. So they they just threw him away. <laughs> That's interesting. So he gets thrown into Pittsburgh and then thrown into Vegas. He made three teams in one year, boys. God damn, Zabinajad. This value is going to go all the way low. Okay, then. Uh, Gustafsson. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah. I guess uh, aside from Zabinajad going really um, from team to team, bouncing back to from team to team, I don't think there's anything remarkable this year that... Uh, was worth uh, looking at. So let's keep uh, going right there. Let's keep simulating, boys. Can we keep uh, winning? We we're not on the four-game winning streak right there. There's a first loss. There we go. Ever since our trades, a second loss in a row. Not good. Can we? Oh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have. Tr maybe I shouldn't have stopped the simulation. It was going well, and all of a sudden we're starting to lose again. I don't know what's going on. That's EA f uh, messing with uh, messing with me big time right now. All right, Eric Stahl got injured. Uh, we got to replace since our this is our, literally our first injury of the season, quite literally, boys. So we got uh, this is your time now, Samgani. Make your ch uh, make your time. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, Johnson back in here instead. I think he's probably better. Yeah, he's definitely better. So we're gonna put uh, Johnson in there. See if that's uh, gonna do anything. There we go. There's a win against uh, Toronto, and that's gonna be it for the last ten games. That's going to push us at a record of 6 and 4. So the same record as last one. Uh, nothing changed. We were started off really good, but then we started to lose a couple of games uh, in a row right there. So that kind of uh, threw the whole simulation off a little bit. Where are we in the division? We're uh, second best team in our uh, of our division right now. All right. Good, good, good. Uh, still, you can see right here, 93 points for the... For the uh, the other division, right? 93 points, 90 points, 88, 84, 80. You do not want to be in the wild card spot because the other one, the are uh, the central division basically as the tough division, one of the toughest divisions all, all around. And our Pacific division is one of the weakest division, and that's why we are so lucky. 
we only have 79 points and we're the best, second best team of our division. So, you know, we're just lucky all around. We're just lucky to have, uh, to have, uh, to be playing with other garbage teams and stuff. So let's keep it going. Uh, where are we in terms of goals right now? Best goal scoring team. And uh, we're trending upwards for uh, goals against per game, which is really good, boys. Uh, actually, downwards, that's the way to, uh, to go, I, sh I guess. Uh, power play is going up, continues to go up, boys. Good. And penalty kill is now, uh, where is it? 77 overall. Good. Good. So that's, uh, we just keep going up. I like that. I like that quite a lot. Uh, what did uh, Malkin do so far? Let's, uh, let's take a look. Uh, his uh, last 10 games with us, his first 10 games with us, what did Malkin do, boys? Uh, how did he produce for us? So, 9 points in 10 games played, plus 7. Yeah, he's a great player. He's going to be a great player for us. He scores a lot of goals, too. He's 6 goals, boys, uh, just with us. Helping out Kako uh, quite a lot as well. It's going to really help these two out uh, produce quite a lot. Teravine and these uh, three are playing uh, quite well together, I think. Now, Kasha, let's not... Uh, yeah, don't look at that. He was minus 17 with his uh, with Boston, but he's, uh, he's a zero with us. So he's playing decent. Uh, the first, second line's working out just fine. And uh, let's take a look at the third line now. All right, so the third line's not working well. Uh, definitely not. They're, these guys, don't, they do not connect whatsoever. I think Lafrenia is just hurting everybody around him. He's just not good, boys. I don't know what to do with Lafrenia, but um, there's only so much I can do with him. You know, he's not like, he's he's just not going to produce. He doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, I don't know. Lafrenia seems like a boss for me. He's like, I, I can't do anything with him. He's uh, he's pointless, boys. It's pointless to even look at the stats. Uh, Shishturkin and uh, Georgiev, both these goalies are doing pretty well this season. Good. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. All right, so all the way up to the Washington Capitals game. Simulate the last, uh, uh, during the uh, last game right there. Shishturkin got injured again. Oh, we're going to get stuck with uh, Georgia in the net again. Not good, boys. Not good. Shishturkin, you can't be injured at the end of the season right here. This is the rush for the playoffs. You're the worst time for it to get injured right now. Literally the worst time. God damn it. Got injured twice already during the season. Uh, what did he do last year uh, during the season? Did he play at all? I think he played one game, right? And he was absolutely trash. So I think it's better to just play Georgia. Yeah. All right. So let's put this guy in there, I guess. All right. Good. Let's see if Georgia is going to be able to hold it in for us until Shosturkin comes back up. There's uh, two wins in a row right there. Three wins if you count the other one. Uh, Eric Stahls is back. Perfect, boys. That is fantastic for us. Uh, Sam Gagne and Johansson, they both uh, are starting to fall in terms of overall, as you can see right there. They, they, uh, they went down. That's not good. Uh, let's put back uh, Eric Stahl in there. There we go. Let's put, just put him back in there, boys. All right. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, can we continue to win? There we go. We're, we're winning games. There's a loss against the uh, Capitals right there. A win against Pittsburgh. Good. Uh, another win, but uh, it, another loss, but it's a loss in shootout. And we win two other games afterwards. So we're winning games, boys. Can we win? Uh, we lost in regulation, but uh, we lo won most of our games right there. And we made it to the... Yeah, there we go. You can see right away right there. We uh, clinched the playoffs. So we're in the playoffs, boys. And not only are we in the playoffs, we're the best team of our division right now. We have a last record of 10 games of 7-2-1. and one, So our best record... Of the season so far as well. So that's really good. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy as long as we make it to the playoffs. I'm happy about uh, where we are. 30 goals for Panarin. 70 points. So it seems like we're not going to have a, a single player. Who uh, has more points than games uh, played uh, this season. But as long as we're making the playoffs. We had a better season than last year already. so Or a very similar one at least. So I feel like um, we're gonna we're gonna be just fine right here. Uh, let's just simulate the last two games right here, because why not? There we go. There's a win. There's a win against the Capitals, and the last game of the season right here. 
We lose against the um, Islanders, but we already are in the playoffs anyways. And we finished up first of our division, boys. That's good. That's really good. Everybody, not everybody uh, played just yet. Uh, now, did everybody play in the league? They sure did. All right. So everyone played in the league, boys. Let's take a look around the league. Uh, team stats. And uh, look at all the stats really quick. So we finished first. Uh, I'm going to see really quick around the league now. It looks like the Vancou uh, Vancouver Canucks uh, finished very first. So the best team of the league. Weren't they the worst team of the league last year though? They, uh, they went back and forth right there. They went from the worst to the best. That's crazy. All right. Don't know how they managed to do that, boys. But that's good for them, I guess. Who, are, who made it to the playoffs? So it's us, the Capitals and the Islanders. In the Central Division, Vancouver, Montreal, Calgary, Winnipeg, and Toronto. Uh, Atlantic Division is the Wild, Colorado, and Arizona. And Metropolitan is uh, Florida, Tampa Bay, Dallas, Nashville, and Chicago made it to the playoffs. Okay. Now we're going to look at individual stats. Uh, the best scorer and the best player of our team. Uh, it was Evgeny Malkin. Of course, he played most of the year with the Pittsburgh Penguins, so it doesn't really count. I would count more of Panarin being our best player, but uh, it is what it is. It's because Malkin's got more goals, so it counts as him being the best, I guess. Uh, ever since he came with us, he played like 22 games, so hey, there we go. He did 23 points in 22 games played, boys. Malkin played great for us. He played really great. Rejuvenated his career right there. And Panarin... Uh, I mean, he could have done better, but I feel like if he played the entire year with Malkin, he would have done uh, great. It's just a bit too late, right? And Capo Caco, 68 points. Uh, better season than last year, so is better season by far already. He keeps going off. He, he keeps trending up, boys. So I'm happy about his production. Eric Stahl, great season for him, boys. Tara Vinen, Bushnevich. Uh, Tyson Berry, really great season, 50 points. Kasha, 48 points. What did he do for us in 22 games played? 13 points in the second line. All right, not too bad, not too good either. And okay, so Lafreniere is in there. 42 points, 13 games, uh, 13 goals in 82 games played. It's a worse season than this first one. So he had a worse season, boys, and minus 11 as well. So Lafreniere had. A really bad a really bad season I don't know what to tell you aside from the fact that I think he's a bust boys I'm pretty sure he's a bust I don't know where to play him the problem is I should I would probably have to play him on the first line all the time but I can't because I already have Panarin in there and I won't move down Panarin just to play Lafreniere that's not gonna happen so I think Lafreniere needs to be Traded to a team that maybe, maybe can help him. I don't know. But I don't think with us he's ever going to become anything, boys. I'm kind of scared here that he's a bust and, and stuff like that. Uh, Goalie-wise, Shosturkin is still injured, by the way. Uh, he's got 29 goals over the... Uh, 29 wins over the season. Really great season once again. Georgiev, all of this. Uh, let's take a look around the league now. Who was the, uh, who were the best players? We're not going to take a, a look at the go goalies just yet. All right, so it looks like we had uh, no 50-goal scorer this year. We didn't have a single 50-goal scorer. So it was a pretty down season for every single player, I guess. Best uh, scorer was Tarasenko at 44 goals. 43 for Kane. Ovechkin at 41 goals. Uh, Kucherov, 41. And Seguin at 40. A best a player of the league was Patrick Kane, 94 points. 90 points for Eric Carlson, boys. This guy is unstoppable in the in this game. Uh, Brand Marchand, Dylan Strom, good for him. And uh, that's pretty much it, as you can see. I want to see Ovechkin, where is he at in terms of his career right here. He's got uh, 793 goals. All right. He's getting in there. I don't know if he's going to be able to beat the uh, Gretzky's record. He would have to do a little bit more more goals than that uh, during the, uh, the remaining seasons. Got, of course, Carlson finished first. Uh, you see uh, Petriangelo, Dowdy, Sergachev, Weber, Edmund, Burns, and Carlson, boys. We've got the goalie situation. Samsonov, 
He's going to win the Vezina for sure. He's got uh, 41 wins, the most amount of wins, and he's got the best per saving percentage. At second place, though, is Carey Price. 40 wins right there. Burbovsky, there we go. Renta, Del Saros, all right, all of these guys. Now, uh, rookie skater, who's the best rookie of the year? Alexander Holtz, boys, for the New Jersey Devils. And Kostin are right there. So these are the best players of the season. All right, so I'm getting ready right here. Let's uh, let's do it. We're going to go up on into the playoffs right here. We're going to simulate them. Uh, let's see what we're going to be facing off against uh, in the first round right here. It's going to be the Winnipeg Jets. So you can see uh, who, uh, who the teams are facing off against uh, in this uh, round right there. So let's take a look at the Winnipeg Jets. Who, who are we facing up against? I might change my lineups come, uh, depending on what we got to face off against. The Winnipeg Jets, they've got Kyle Connor, Shifley, and a Wheeler. So a 91, 90, and an 88 overall um, first line. That's very dangerous. Uh, Vaselinen, Dubois, and Ehlers. So 84, 90, and 88. They've got a really strong team on the offensive side. So they've got a very dangerous team. Gustafsson, Little, Appleton, Arkins, Savoka, and Chaplik. So they don't have any depth. But they do have the strong offensive power. So we got to watch out for the, uh, the goals, I guess. Morrissey, Pionk, Butcher, DeMello, Pelek, and Niku. So their defense is not that good. It's really all about the offense for them. They've got Ellibach and Otten in the net. So Ellibach is going to be a great goaltender for them. Or maybe not. Actually, Ellibach has a tendency to be pretty much trash during the, C the playoffs. So maybe they're not going to get the, the goalie. We're going to see how it goes. I feel like I've got a better depth, in-depth team than them. Yeah, I've got a better defensive team than them. But they can probably outscore me. So we're just going to have to see where this leads us. Uh, Kako at 87 over, overall, you can see right here. He's just doing great. I, I like uh, I like CMM uh, quite a lot, boys. He's just doing a fantastic job and all. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think we could try Lafreniere in the second line, but we're gonna keep Teravani in there just because he uh, last year he did five. Uh, if you take a look at the playoff stats, he did five points in six games played for us. He played really great for us, and Lafreniere did four points in six games played. But I feel like Teravani would be just a better player overall. Plus, the poise is all about that. It's all about the poise, boys. And uh, Lafreniere doesn't have a lot of poise, to be honest. Actually, Fosbert's got a lot of, of poise, but I don't want to break anything up right here. If I do this right there, that would like that would do a thing, but I don't know, boys. I don't know if that uh, would be better. Uh, I actually don't know. I legit don't know if that would be any good or not. feel like uh, being a playmaker and stuff, it's just better if I do that. Maybe I put Lafania on the fourth line. I'm just going to keep it like that for now, boys. And we'll see if that's working out for us or not. If it doesn't work out for the first game, I'll switch it right away to Fosberg instead of Lafreniere and stuff like that. But for now, we're going to keep it like that. Uh, Georgiev is obviously going to be in the net for the first game, which is not a good thing. But we're going to have to hope that uh, he plays great for us. So let's hop on in, boys. First game of the uh, first round. Let's go ahead and simulate right there. See if our team is going to get any luck right there. Are we going to be able to get f very far at least just like last year? Last year we made it all the way to the third round, boys. So as long as we don't have to face a team like Montreal, we should be all right. And we have a pretty good team, a, a better team than last year I might have. And last year, uh, last year we made it far. So there you go. Panarin's going to score a goal for us during the end of the first period, which is pretty much good for us. Lafrenia scoring a goal for us. There it is. Here it is. So Lafreniere is scoring goals, boys, in the playoffs. He's there for us. Uh, I think he's a playoff performer. I just don't know if he's a, a, a season regular player. So if he's not a season guy, I don't really need him, right? I need him only for the playoffs. Uh, third round. There we go. Uh, not third round, but third period. Assimilate it. Let's go, boys. You got it. It's a pretty much a tie-up game right now. They got a power play and they scored on, uh, on it, though. So we can't be taking penalties, uh, that's for sure. If we take penalties, it seems like they're going to be there to answer right back. 
It seems like uh, there's only be one penalty taken by us. Oh, God damn it. And Morrissey is just going to score at 39. 40 seconds left in the third period, boys. And Morrissey is going to score for the Jets. We're going to be forced to go into the overtime here. Let's go watch it. All right, we're jumping in, boys. Let's see if we're going to get any luck right here. It's going to start off as Malkin versus Shifley, of course. Let's see if we're going to get any luck, man. We got to really press it up. Full four check, boys. Go ahead. Oh, I forgot to put myself as coach. I forgot to put myself on coach mode. I hope my dog stops goddamn doing his thing right now. He's starting to annoy me pretty hard. He continues to do his thing, boys. Trying to commentate over here. All right. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and go in coach mode right here. Okay, boys. You know what? Hold on. I'll see you in a uh, 30 minutes once my dog stops. All right, I think we're good, boys. I think my dog is gonna calm himself down. I don't, I'm not sure, we'll see. Uh, in due time, boys, Wheeler's got the puck. Mercy up to Connor. He's gonna, uh, it's gonna get blocked in front. Let's go, boys, play defense. There we go, Capo Caco's gonna drive that one in. Oh, you got it. Panarin, go, shoot it. There we go, rebound. Oh my gosh, missed the wide open net right there. Malkin wi whiffed at it, boys. That is not good. All right. Uh, you good? Uh, do I need to change the lineups right here? Not yet. We're in the defensive zone. We got to keep going there. No! One-timer straight in front right there. What my team doing right there? Oh, my God. Worst defense ever. Georgia, we kept getting bombarded right now. It's our goddamn backup in the net, boys. Can you protect him a little bit better here? Oh, boy. All right. Well, there's a loss for our first game, boys. Uh, it worked out pretty good. I think Lafreniere scored a goal for us. The problem is here is the goddamn that one goal again for Morrissey, right? At 40 seconds left, Georgiev just couldn't keep it done. He just couldn't do it. We're stuck with Georgiev in the net. Chesterkin's back. Okay, good. Chesterkin's back just in time. Uh, is he going to be able to make the difference? I hope so. I really hope so, boys. Uh, we need him at his full capacity right here. Uh, while you're getting out of here, I'm putting Shishterkin in there. I'm not messing around. I mean, Georgia did what he had to do, but he just he screwed the pooch at the very end of it. And that basically screwed us over right there. I want the best offensive potential right here. I want people who score goals right here. All right, so as I was saying, boys, Philip Fosberg uh, not doing, didn't do anything in the first uh, first game. Of course, he's it's rougher for him because he's playing on the first line. But Terra Vinen didn't do anything. He didn't produce. Uh, we got a point for Lafreniere. I feel like we did the job. Our team itself did pretty good. I just don't know what to do. What else do I have to do, right? Uh, I don't want to change anything. It's a best of three. We can win this game. We have Shishturkin in the net now. So we can definitely win it. We just got to be able to score and keep the puck out of the net within 40 seconds left. I mean, come on. We had the game right there. We were winning the game. We just can't, like, screw it up like that at the last second. And they're going to get a goal by fucking pa Dubois, of all people. Now, like, come on now. You're going to, you know they're going to score. Gustafsson got a goal. Oh my god, we're gonna get eliminated boys. We're gonna get swept in the first round right here. Is that's what's gonna happen here? I'm gonna get screwed over big time. This is bullshit. I'm calling bullshit right now. We were doing great in the first one. This is EA simulation at its finest right. Let's simulate like that. I can't do anything. I can't get a break. 20 shots to 18. They, they are actually dominating us in this game. Power play. Long one. You can't do anything about it. All right. Well, it's over. Uh, call it quits, boys. We get uh, sh we get swept in the first round. All right. There's a goal by Bushnevich. A bit too late, my guy. Showed up late. And penalty kill. And that's going to be it. So we get swept in the first round just like that. That's always great, right? It's always a good feeling. God damn it, man. What a waste of a goddamn series. All right, uh, we did great last year. Now this year, I'm not happy. I'm not happy about this year. Lafreniere played the worst year than last one. He played great in the playoffs. He's a playoff performer apparently, but he's not like a, a guy that's going to be there for the, uh, the actual season, which is where I need him. Look, I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. It's the hardest thing to do in this game and uh, in any EA game is to actually win the cup because it's impossible to do. 
it's literally impossible to win the cup, boys. You gotta really uh, be at the most lucky. Uh, it's gotta be a most lucky day of your life, basically, to win the cup uh, with an EA game. But look, we're gonna try our best right here. We did it pretty far. We made it pretty far last year, so I'm I, I'm pretty sure we. I'm, I thought for sure we could have made it f further this time around, but I guess I guess not. Right, so at some point we're gonna have the luck. Uh, we're gonna hop on into the draft lottery right here. We're gonna do the draft lottery. We're gonna do all of this bullshit uh, right there, I guess, uh, in this video as well. We might as well, boys. And it looks like the Florida Panthers uh, decided to win the cup this year. So the Panthers won the cup, boys. Good for them. Uh, they were one of the best teams of the league, so it makes sense. Um, but the thing is, I want like. Who, who did they go up against? That's my question right there. I'm going to I'm gonna try and see right here. Who uh, I want to see uh, the playoff tree. So who was the finales right there? Vancouver Canucks. Okay, so it was one of the two best teams. So the, the best team of the league so, uh, this year uh, dominated every single team. They they swept the, uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs. They swept the Montreal Canadiens. They swept the Jets. They went into the finals and they got swept by, uh, by the uh, Florida Panthers. So that's an interesting uh, thing right there. That's very interesting. I'm just, I, I'm just sad that um, we got eliminated by the Jets. But the Jets made it pretty far, I guess. They're, I, don't, I just don't know what to say anymore, boys. It's just, at this point, I don't want to go into it as a player. I don't know why he did that. At this, at this point, like... What am I supposed to do exactly to really help my, my uh, help out my team as much as possible? It's a it's a mystery to me, boys. It really is. It looks like the Los Angeles Kings are gonna get the very first draft pick this year. Uh, Edmonton got the second uh, draft pick. Uh, Pittsburgh got the third draft uh, draft pick, boys. Detroit, Ottawa, Columbus, Boston, Buffalo, Philadelphia, Anaheim, New Jersey, Vegas. St. Louis, Carolina, and St. Jose. All right. That's the top 15. We're once again not in the top 15 because we made it to the playoffs and we got screwed over in the first round. Retired players this year. Let's take a look. Uh, we lost one of our players. Already you can see. So Corey Perry, we lost him. He played the entire year in the AHL for us. Let's see what he did for us in the AHL. He did pretty all right. He did 57 points in 76 uh, games played, boys. So he did a, a, have a really good season in the AHL. Decided to retire, though. Uh, Gabarek Dunn, Alexander Steen, Kessler. So all these old-timers. Uh, defenseman, Kirk Russell. So nobody. Nobody in defense. And goalie-wise, Zatkoff uh, decided to uh, retire. That's pretty much it. No, uh, Nobody, really. Anybody on our side, once again, that we lost or anything? Uh, where are we? There we go. Capitals, Rangers. Nope. We, I don't think we lost any coaches this time around. Ryan Kessler, uh, Nathan Gorby, and Brad Richardson are all scouts now. Okay. And uh, let's continue simulating. And there we go. We're into the draft, boys. So we're going to be doing the draft in this video. No problems. We're also going to do uh, the re-signings and everything. And we're going to be ready to hop on into the... Uh, to the uh, the uh, next season for the next video, boys. So it's up on in right there. Coaching staff just making sure that I didn't lose anybody right here. I actually did lose somebody. I lost an a co AHL coach, I guess. Goalie coach. Fine by me. We're going to find a new one, a better one, I, I, I guess. All right. Uh, let's find out right here. Let's go to the draft lottery, boys. See if we can't move up this time around. Anything at all, right? Try our luck right here. So where are we at? 26 overall. Let's try and move up to 21st. Let's get our first round pick and maybe a skater right here. Let's see if we got uh, some good skaters. We do have some good potential this time around. So good potentials could, uh, to get traded uh, right there. There we go. They don't want Tamstrom itself. I can uh, give them uh, a top six and a top nine right there. They are going to refuse straight up somehow, boys. I don't know why they're refusing. That is a strange move, a really strange move. Um, let me let me give you this, I guess. There we go, four prospects, my guy, and a first round pick. Ah, uh, there we go, there we go. So we, not by a lot, but uh, we moved up to twenty first. 
Now let's see if we can continue to move up, boys. So one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 16 position. All right, 16 overall. We're gonna try and move up there, boys. Move it uh, closer to the top 15 right there. Let's uh, try and see right here. So I'm gonna give them these two players. I'm give uh, I'm giving them these three players. These three players, boys, that we basically uh, drafted last year. They don't want them. Of course, they don't want them. Uh, let me see if there's anybody else. Anybody else whatsoever. I'm not giving him uh, away a uh, medium top 6 forward. That is not going to happen unless he's uh, uh, a two-way forward, is he, huh? Hold on. Well, I got an idea then. I got an idea, boys. But uh, I'm not uh, not for the 16 round pick. That's uh, that's for sure. Uh, for a ninth round pick. Ninth round pick, boys. Ninth overall. I'm willing to give you uh, the Philadelphia Flyers. I'm willing to give you my first. I'm willing to give you, give you that. Uh, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Eklund. I am willing to give you that. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure I don't even need to give you that. So that should do it. No, I am going to need to give you the other one. Okay, all right, all right. I'll give you Nazarov as well. I'm pretty sure. Well, how? How is that rejected? Okay. Well, this is rigged, so I'm not I'm not uh, gonna trade any further, boys. This is first round. Oh my God, look at that! Los Angeles Kings just got themselves a friend, medium franchise player, boys. Playmaker, 83 overall. God damn, that's a stud. Yeah, they've got themselves uh, another uh, McDavid for them, boys. Good, good for them, I guess. Another uh, Gretzky on their team, I guess. Uh, Oilers, they got an elite uh, player. Uh, elite right there. There we go. Another elite. Elites everywhere, boys. Let's uh, go to the 21st uh, pick right here. So all the way up at the 21st pick. Don't have too much uh, of an option right here. Let's see if there's any gems for us. Uh, no, we already know he's a top four, so I'm not going to go for him. Uh, nothing really. So we're just going to go for what they're telling me to go for right here. He's got a lot of points. I'm not gonna lie, he's got a lot of points. Uh, we could always go for Stahlberg as well, but this guy's got he's 18 overall, 18 years of age. He's got a lot of points, even though it's uh, he was on the C minus. It's a lot of points, boys. I am not gonna lie, so I'm gonna take a chance right here. I'm gonna go for Stabitz. They're telling me to go for him, so there you go. Medium top six, 63 overall, power forward. There we go, pretty good. Uh, Stahlberg uh, ended up being a uh, medium top four, so I didn't missing on. Uh, I'm not missing out on anything so far. Doesn't seem like it. No, doesn't seem like I'm missing out on anything, boys. So there we go. Let's skip to the 57 overall pick, the second round pick for us. Uh, basically, we got um, a low top six right there, but we got an option as a as elite right there. So what are we gonna do? We're obviously gonna take uh the guy right there the the gem right there's a gem right here uh, nearby is there not no i guess he got taken or something so there's a lot of guaranteed top sixes here but uh i want to take a chance on an elite player boys we got to take a chance on an elite player like this guy right here uh two-way d-man could be very good what about this guy uh defensive defenseman i'm not interested in this goalie though uh not really because he's 19 years of age let's try our luck let's try our luck with a goalie boys Let, why not there we go let's try our luck with a goalie and we did it medium elite goaltender boys 52 overall hybrid goaltender perfect we got a goalie for the future just like that happy about that i'm really happy third round pick let's see what we got uh any options that could be decent so that two-way defenseman right there could be good. Could be good for us. Uh, anybody else? Uh, goalie, I'm not taking him. He's got a pick. He's got a picture. Uh, this guy right here, power forward. He seems like a good one, boys. Yeah, seems like uh, some good, decent stats right here. Let's pick him up. Bottom six, complete garbage. We uh, missed out on that guy. That's for sure. All right, that's fine by me. We're going to be missing out on guys, boys. But we're going to pick up... Uh, Mostly good people, I feel like, so. All right, so this guy's... I need someone that's trending down really quick. Uh, defensive defenseman, nope. He's 19 years of age. I don't want 19 years of age, boys. I don't want that. Uh, this guy's got some good potential. Another goaltender. Let's see if he's another medium elite. 
Uh, no, French starter. So not this one. Not this one, boys. So another bust. Basically, that's fine by me, though. We're, gonna, we're taking our chances here, boys. Taking our chances. What about this guy? Let's try this guy out. Seventh defenseman. Not going to work. Sixth round pick right there. Anybody at all. I'm not going to pick that guy up. That's not going to happen. Okay, so they all have picks. Except from this guy who is 19 years of age. I'm not going to pick him up. Uh, I'm going to pick up one of these two, I guess. Be a guaranteed low top six anyways. So, uh, grinder or playmaker. I'm picking up the playmaker, of course. Here we go. March. You're coming up with us. Low top six playmaker for us. And the last pick we're going to pick. Uh, we don't really have a, too much of an option right here. I'm going to go for... We're going to go and try Vegetti right there. Low top six defensive defenseman. So nothing too much. And that's pretty much it for us, boys. So we did get a medium elite goaltender in there. In the second round pick. So we did get something at least. Uh, that's for sure. A uh, bunch of scouts are done, basically. So I'm going to let them go, I guess. And uh, that's pretty much it for us. Let's go to gun tracks. Take a look at everything. All right, so Lemure is back. Kako's back. Everybody's back. Yeah, everybody's decided to join for us. None of them refused, which is good, boys. I think, yeah, we got everyone. So let's send to your free agency. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy.